All right, beauties, I am about to start my vegan lasagna. I have made vegetarian lasagna before um, where I just omitted the noodles and did zucchini instead and like ribbons. So I think I'm gonna like this. I have some Nature's Promise organic tomato and basil sauce. I have an extra little Cento tomato sauce just in case I need some. Um, I have some garlic, we have some fresh basil. I have some spinach that has been drained and thawed out. And then I have three different kinds of cheese. <laughs> I have mozzarella, I have cheddar, and I have Colby Jack. Um, I really like vegan cheese, the couple that I've tried thus far, so I think I'm gonna like this. I have some gluten-free pasta. I have some plant-based ground beef. I have a bag of diced onions. Of course, you could get a regular onion and not be a lazy ass like myself, and you could chop it up yourself. Um, then salt, pepper, some Italian seasoning, garlic powder, some Mrs. Dash table, Mrs. Dash table blend, and garlic and herb. So I'm going to set everything up. The very first thing I'm going to do is saute my onions, and of course, season them and season each and every layer so we have the most amount of flavor. All right, my first step is a little bit of olive oil and my heat is just past medium. I'm going to add this entire bag of onions. You could also add other vegetables in here. We could hide them from our family, they'll never know. And then I'm going to season these generously. And then when these are translucent, I'm gonna go ahead and add my spinach, my ground beef. I'm going to re-season everything and then I will BRB, but I will show you that. All right, I had to turn these down. They got away from me because I walked away to go watch some TV. Um, so my next step is literally just tossing in the spinach. I am also gonna put in the entire bag of the Gardein ground beef. Um, and then this stage is also going to get seasoned. And this is also going to cook for about five to seven minutes. Um, and then I will show you our progress at the end of this. All right, here is where we are at now. Everything is coming together great. Um, like I said, this stage takes about five to seven minutes, so I'm almost done with this stage. Everything is seasoned, um, and I just put in my garlic. If I said I was supposed to put that in at the beginning, um, clearly I did not, so here's my garlic. All right, I am now going to add both jars of my sauce. I'm going to make sure everything is stirred up well. I will lightly season this round because everything is seasoned really well. And then if I need to add the tomato sauce, I will add the tomato sauce. So we will see what happens once we add our regular sauce. All right, so here's our sauce thus far. I do like a thick sauce. I feel like this is slightly a little thicker than I typically like. So I'm gonna add my tomato sauce. We are going to stir this around. Again, just lightly season this layer. I'll put a lid on it. I'm gonna let it simmer for about 10 minutes and then we'll come build our lasagna. I'm so excited, y'all. It smells incredible. All right, y'all, updating really quickly. We've been in here about five minutes on this stage. I am going to add my basil and we did have some fresh diced tomatoes that a friend of ours canned. So I'm gonna add these really quickly, my basil, give it five more minutes, and then we're gonna come layer this bad boy up. All right, y'all, it looks delicious. Okay, so um, I'm gonna start at 350 for about 45 minutes and I'll check it. So I will see y'all soon. Also, this makes plenty of sauce as like my kind of traditional one does. 
Um, I think I'm going to save this. You can either do it, obviously, for me, gluten-free pasta, or I think I'm going to make some, like, zucchini fritter type things in the air fryer and use this as my dipping sauce. So, yeah, um, I will see you guys in 45 minutes. Oh, my goodness. Y'all, I'm just saying, this looks amazing. I did make some cheesy garlic bread. But yeah, everything looks really, really good. I'm gonna let it rest for about 15 minutes and then the final reveal will be here. And maybe I can get somebody on camera to taste test it for y'all. <laughs> first try, I maybe should've waited a few minutes, but I'm hungry because I normally eat no later than five and it's, it's way after five. So hopefully I don't burn myself. Hopefully it's delicious. <laughs> Mm. That was my happy food dance. And yes, that is delicious. Mm. If you tried this, please, please, please let me know. Um, that's it, beauties. I love you.